Well, if you ever wanted to take a deeper look at what keeps the city of Minneapolis going, this weekend is your chance. City leaders officially kicked off the Doors Open event this morning. Mary McGuire has a look. The view of the mighty Mississippi from downtown Minneapolis is one of the most iconic sights in the city. But this weekend, people were able to get up close and personal with the water in a different way. The Upper St. Anthony Falls Lock and Dam is just one of the 100 venues participating in Doors Open Minneapolis. It aims to pull the curtain back on the city's most iconic landmarks and show them off to the public. City Hall, the Dayton's Project, and the Women's Club of Minneapolis are also taking part and sharing their history at the free event. We're the bank that the other banks come to when they need services like cash. If cold hard cash is your speed, the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis is offering up the chance to learn about how they maintain the nation's currency supply and how cash is kept secure. Plus, you can snap a picture with millions of dollars. It was really really cool because it was a vault. I mean, who wants to see a vault? Everyone. Yeah. yeah. Sitting on a literal throne of cash is pretty cool, but doors open is more than just a photo op. It's a way to learn and understand what happens in the places you've probably passed by a thousand times, but never had the chance to open the door to. You maybe have heard about us lately for monetary policy and the interest rate, and that is a key part of what we do. We study the ninth district's economy. Doors open Minneapolis will run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. Reporting in Minneapolis, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.